So for today, we're going to be looking at the Solstice armor set. We're going to be doing the, the armor set. So for the Hunter, we're going to be using the chest piece. Titan, we're going to be using the boots. And for the Warlock, we're going to be using the helmet. I probably will make another video using, using different pieces. So look out for that. But again, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are not subscribed. So if you want to help me not cry myself to sleep tonight, then subscription would be very much appreciated. If you don't want to sub, then a comment like is more than enough. And I really do appreciate it as well. So other than that, let's just get into it. So this is my Hunter. I am using an exotic. I would never thought I'd be using, which is a Blight Ranger. This is such a cool looking exotic and hopefully Bungie reworks it in the arc 3.0 because this is straight cheeks, but the look itself is amazing. So let's actually talk about it. First and foremost, we have the Gift of the Nine, which is like one of my favorite uh, shaders in the game currently because of just how cool it is. It's basically just white with a, with a tinge of black and the glow is actually really cool. Let's talk about that. The glow is usually around this color, the turquoise, not so much the middle one. But again, Blight Ranger, I definitely wanted to use. For this whole video, I'm going to be using exotics that I never wear because I just kind of felt like it. Uh, I wanted to like get out of my comfort zone. So for the arms, we're using the Neoteric Kiot Grasps. I said I was going to be using the, these arms with the chest piece because I really love how the bandage, not bandages, the straps here look really well with the straps on the cloak and the straps on the, uh, the arm. So <clears throat> that's why I'm using the Kiat grasps for the chest piece. Obviously we're using the solstice chest piece, which I actually do like now that I look at it more, I still think the stripes right here are annoying as hell, but overall I do like it a lot more than I gave it credit for, for the boots we're using the diamonds born strides. This is going to be the weirdest one out of the bunch because everything looks kind of like regal, like almost, almost awoken in my opinion. And then the boots just like kind of zone me out of it. The reason I'm using this is because I really like how the texture for here goes really well with the texture up here. It's very small. Don't get me wrong. Like the, the lines right here, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I like this. So if you guys want to switch it out, if you guys want to like copy this, of course, by all means, but that's why that's where my head was going because if you guys don't know the boots also have this issue, like or not issue, but it has the the stripes that doesn't that doesn't change uh that doesn't change with shaders that's the texture it's going to stay as so just be aware of that uh there are other stuff you could definitely do you could do the the meridian constellation one i just don't like how small it looks but you can do that one the one that i was actually thinking about using was the boots of the exile just because more 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 of uh, i mean at this point these would be bandages but yeah uh, more more of that my only, the only reason I didn't use these is because A, I didn't like how it just open this was. Like it looks weird. I, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the straps are also just a different texture. Like this looks a little bit more Royal and this looks a little bit more tattered. So again, a very, very small nitpick, but it is a nitpick in my, my, my eyes. For the cloak, we're using the Meridian Constellation cloak. Definitely one of my favorite cloaks in the game. I wish I used it more, but I like to combine this cloak with usually a uh, Neoteric Kiat just because I like how the, the straps look together and it kind of reminds me of uh, <clears throat> of Petra. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this set a lot. Hopefully uh, Blight Ranger gets fixed or not even fixed. It is technically working. It's just it it sucks. So hopefully it gets changed. It gets reworked and it becomes cool because I really want to use this exotic. So. Next up is the Titans. And for the Titans, we're using the Curse of the Falling Star. This is the exception because I actually do use this exotic a lot, but I haven't used it for fashion. So that is why I'm using this. So I know people are, are immediately gonna go, oh my God, a red and black Titan. Her is so original, her derp, but I get it. Uh, but at the same time, like get over yourself. It's, it's not that big a deal, dog. Also, the reason I'm using a all black and red shader is because the shadering situation for the boots are pretty terrible. Let's just get into it real quick before I tell you what pieces I'm using. So this is usually the shader that you'll see for the boots, the Regal Daring, which you can get in the Eververse currently right now. And I highly suggest it because it's really good. But this is a shader. I'm personally not the biggest fan of 
the Comet Stern Dream uh, ornament for Curious of the Falling Star, specifically because the off colors right here, on these right here, and also sometimes on the, the right here, I don't know what that is. So you have to be really careful. I mean, you could just use the base look, which does look really cool, but I really like the ornament with it as well. So, I mean, I guess at that point, that's just me being dumb, but the, okay. So the original reason why I'm using a black and red shader is because let's go to echo anger. Echo anger doesn't have this brown color. Like it doesn't, uh, and it shows up a lot like Yeah, right there. There's this one right here, which doesn't show up but like with that one, that one, like it, it's gross. So the reason I'm using the Valkyrie zero is because it completely changes the whole plate to be black. Like it makes it shader really well. And the only thing that I would have to work with is red, which I'm like, that's fine. I, I like red anyway. So let's just do it. And I combine it with carbon blood because carbon blood is the closest match to the like matte black that is right here to this one now people that are really picky are going to notice that this black is not a one-to-one -to, -one to this black but it's so minimal that i don't really care so for the helmet we're using the meridian constellation helm i love this helmet this helmet i use a lot and i will continue to use a lot i think the helmet pairs well with the chest piece it just it just gives it like a more stellar look i guess you would say for the arms we're using the Nemean gauntlets specifically because of just how small they make the arms look because I have tried using other arms and I just did not like it. This is another one that I was thinking about using, which actually doesn't look terrible in my opinion. The only reason I didn't use it is because the asymmetry of the red really pissed me off. The boots were obviously wearing the boots from solstice. Again, if you can find a shader that make that goes with all of the other shaders really well, you're going to love these boots. But if not, like, let's say you're just combining one shader. Usually this would piss me off. Like this pisses me off seeing it. If, if it had just shadered normally, I would not be mad at all. Like I'd be like this, these boots are fire, but because it shaders terribly, I, I have to dock points from it. And then for the mark, we're using the, uh, for, for, for Ian mark because of the, the not only is it the minimal amount of like cloth that there is in the in the actual set but it's also because of the texture on the the belt i really like it a lot so titans let me know what you guys think i really like this set i really like it a lot my only i guess my only gripe with it if you want to make it even better would be to find a chest piece that is a red and black that covers the waist right here all black um, or you could probably just find an all black shader and just do that. Like, no, uh, but yeah, that, that would be like my only gripe with it because I don't like how, how down here, it's just basically gray and there's no other gray ever. So other than like, yeah, like something like this would be really cool if the plate was actually not white. So yeah that's the titans let me know what you guys think titans i really like this one last but not least we have the warlocks and they, i'll give you my final thoughts and last but not least we have the warlocks where i'm using an exotic i never thought i'd be using but again i wanted to use exotics that i never really use for fashion which is why i'm using the ex exotics that i'm using so for the ch for the helmet we're actually going to be using the solstice helmet i think this helmet is amazing by far one of the best helmets in the game for warlocks just be aware that it does shader really weirdly and what i mean by that is specifically it's like half of the helmet's going to be one color the other half is going to be another color which if that doesn't bug you more power to you it kind of bugs me a little so that's why i'm using the dreaming spectrum so i can just have one whole color it's not a one-to-one -one, uh which i find funny but it's close enough that it doesn't really bother me for the arms we're using the blood lineage gloves specifically because it gives off that like dracula vibe in my head because the alchemy's the the sanguine alchemy chest piece kind of gives me vampire vibes like the whole set just looks like like some posh asshole vampire is about to like talk shit to you the boots we're using the forbidden visage because i really like how it it gives off that vibe of like royalty or not royalty but like uh like i have class as in like a vampire would have class type thing and then for the arms the coronation bond just because it fits really well 
Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I really like this one a lot too. This one, I know that I went through this one a lot faster than the other ones, but it's because this one's just kind of like self-explanatory. Like I think it looks so cool. The helmet is so versatile that you're going to be using it with so many things. Uh, the Without the glow, it's going to be even better. So like if you have the glow, just be aware that without the glow, it's just even better. Like it just, it hits all those spots. For the next one, we're probably, probably going to use the arms and the, ch and the boots for the warlock because I want to avoid the chest piece as much as possible. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys like these sets? Let me know in the comments below. I'll be doing... The next version, which is again, I'll probably be using the arms and the boots for the warlocks, the chest piece for the titans, and maybe the boots for the hunter. Yeah, we'll, we'll see it, but we'll see what we do. So, yeah, if you again, if you guys like the video, uh, a subscription, like, comment, all that would be appreciated. But other than that, be safe, and I'll see you guys later.